Hey, I'm Sarah Snow, author of Sarah Snow's Fresh Living, the essential room-by-room -room guide to a greener, healthier family and home. I'm a big advocate for healthy and natural living. In fact, way before green was the new black, I was growing up in a sustainable household, turning compost piles and eating brown rice and tofu. Now as an adult and soon to be new mom, I've made it my personal mission to help educate other moms about ways that they too can live a greener lifestyle. For those of you concerned about the time and money it may take, let me start off by telling you that going green is no longer about an all or nothing attitude. It's about making small changes. Today I'm gonna to share some baby steps that you can take to build a natural nursery. I've been preparing my own, so let's go take a look. Come on in. First off, let's think about what babies spend most of their day doing, sleeping. So it's very important to protect the air that they will be breathing. If you're planning to paint, make sure you choose a low or no VOC paint in a lighter shade or forgo painting altogether and simply hang family photos or pictures like I've done here. It'll add enough color to your space and even more personality. If you have the option, go with bare floors. They collect less dust and they're much easier to clean and maintain. Now we all know how expensive furniture can be, so here's a way to be eco-friendly and save money. Simply buy second hand or borrow from family and friends. This is a dresser that I already had. I repainted it using non-toxic paints and voila! Recycling is always a plus. If you do splurge on one new item for the nursery, make it the mattress. A great option is a mattress made from wool or organic cotton. When it comes to caring for your baby's skin and hair, it's important to realize that not all natural products are suitable for a baby. In fact, you might feel most comfortable sticking with a line that you've trusted for years. Johnson's now has a natural product line that is designed especially for babies and is gentle enough for newborns. It's dye-free and it's paraben-free. Johnson's Natural is available at retail stores around the country and the cost won't break your bank. And that's my beginner's guide to building a natural nursery. Remember, the key is to keep it simple. Going green and natural won't happen overnight, so it's okay to start with just a few of the baby steps I've outlined here and go from there. Good luck.